Welcome back at 630 on your Tuesday morning. We are continuing to track this News 5 alert for you. A uh, deputy involved shooting is under investigation right now in Fountain. Yeah, we have learned this morning the suspect is in the hospital. Also, one El Paso County deputy was injured. News 5 Shayla Gerardin is live on Roaring Springs Avenue near Roaring Springs Lane with more for us this morning. Good morning, Shayla. Good morning, Bree. Yes, that shooting happened right here this morning after that driver led police and deputies on multiple dangerous pursuits around the Fountain area just earlier this morning. And we spoke to a spokesperson that said this is a very complicated and a large situation. In fact, multiple agencies are involved now that it's getting a little bit lighter out. I don't know if you can see some of them are still out here this morning investigating and this whole area is taped off while they try to determine exactly what happened. Now it's unclear how the chase started, but it did happen around 3 a.m. and speeds reached over 100 miles per hour. One deputy's car caught on fire and he was transported to the hospital. It's a very large scene. We had multiple police cruisers that were hit from both agencies. We had multiple civilian vehicles that were hit uh, during these pursuits uh, because of the way the suspect was driving. And that pursuit ended right here on Roaring Springs Avenue when a deputy shot the driver. It's unclear exactly what led up to the shooting or if that driver was armed. That person was transported to the hospital and their condition is unknown. Now at this point, we're told Colorado Springs Police Department will be taking over the investigation and Roaring Springs Avenue will most likely remain closed for the rest of the morning. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that, but there is no threat to the public at this time. For the latest information, keep logging on to KOAA.com. Watching out for you in Fountain, Shayla Gerardin, News 5.